Christina again with The Artist Pod, and today we'll be talking about how everyone can draw. Specifically how um, I wouldn't recommend comparing yourself to other artists. The only person you should be comparing yourself is to yourself. So, let's get arting, or talking. Yeah, one of those. So, um, uh, just last week, yeah, last Thursday, I posted the video on how to draw the hamster, right? So here's the hamster I drew. Um, and the reason I'm bringing this up, and the reason I'm showing this image, is I get people sometimes that'll tell me, you know, they, they could never be an artist, um, they can't draw a straight line, they, they, they could never do what I do. Um, but some of that is because, right, I only show my successes. Most people only show this, their successes. We don't really show our failures. So um, I am going to show a couple of images I also drew that um, are failures that are never images I'm gonna I'm gonna um, upload anywhere or sell on shirts or anything like that because they're just not they're not good they're not up to my like standard right so before I did this hamster I did this um so I'd sketched it out it looked fine I drew it out as I was drawing it part way through I was like something's funny but sometimes you know I'll have an awkward like in-between stage and so I didn't think much of it and I finished out the drawing and I looked at it and I was like ah, this didn't work and then I immediately the same day did this drawing instead um, repurposed what did work specifically I thought that my sketch of the hands and feet you can see they're the same worked out really well so I used that same sketch but I re-sketched the entire body um, and reanalyzed I took some time to, to look at, at images of hamsters um, now a lot of people will say, and, and I've, you know, sometimes find this to be true as well, is the quickest way to success is through failure, right? You learn from your mistakes, and that is true, right? With this, I learned. Um, I certainly learned what what didn't work, um, and then I sort of took that and applied that to make a new image. But with art, I think you learn every time you draw, right? I know I do. Every time I sit down, every time I pick up my stylus and I start sketching something out, I learn something. Um, so whether that image turns out to be a success or a failure, I've learned. Um, but, you know, earlier in my career, I've, I've been at this for a long time. Um, I, I've been drawing since I was a kid. I went to college for this. Um, I'm in my 40s now, so I've, I've been drawing for a very, very long time. Um, so, you know, to be at a point where I do something like this, I know that I can do this, and then I know that I can also do it right. Um, I just have to figure out how. So I am certainly at a point in my life where I'm confident in my ability to draw because I've been doing it so long, but that doesn't mean that I still sometimes make missteps like this. Um, but early in my, my career, certainly earlier, you know, when I back when I was in college, when I was in high school, um, I did compare myself to my peers. Um, and... You know, I think it's 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 something we all do. You know, we look at other people and we're like, gosh, I'm, I'm not as good as they are. Um, but the only reason I got as, as good as I am is despite that, I kept drawing. Like I said, every time I pick up that stylus, every time I make any sort of mark, I learn something. Um, it's something I'm, I'm constantly doing. Just recently, um, I shifted my whole style. Um, not fully, but... It's almost like I hit a skill ceiling and then I leveled up to the next level um, where I just sort of learned something new and it was significant enough that it's elevated my more recent drawings within the last two weeks um, and those videos will start coming out soon enough. Um, and so sometimes that just happens. You do it so much that you have this this push past the skill, a, a skill ceiling, gosh that's hard to say, skill ceiling. Um, and you sort of level up in effect. Um, but I will, you know, every time I pick it up, I'll always learn something, no matter how much better I get. Um, and so don't compare yourself to others. What you should be doing, or what something I've done, and the reason why I pulled up several images of the same thing, is it's better, in my opinion, to compare yourself to yourself, right? So this hamster is one of my failures. However, I took that, and then redid it to what I would consider a success, an image that I was happy with. Um, this rhinoceros, this yeah, this rhinoceros was a failure. 
Um, I'm not really sure what's happening with this with his horn there. It kind of looks like this little like flopsy horn. Anyway, obviously not a good rhino drawing, um, but this one I think is. Um, more to that point, I put this together, right? Where the one on the right was when I first started working in this kind of scratch board style many years ago, and the one on the left I think I did just last year. So these two images, as opposed to these two, right? These are, are done in the same day. These two were probably done some months apart, not the same day, but not too far apart. But these two were done years apart. Um, and I can look at this and see very distinctly how much I've grown. And that's why it's important to compare to yourself, um, but don't compare to another artist, right? Um, because at the end of the day, I could never draw the way that you can draw. Um, only you can draw the way you can draw. You do you the best way that you can. Nobody else can do you. Um, just like I do me the best way that I can. Um, and that's the reality of it. And so you might not think that you're a good artist, but you are. You're better than you think you are. And honestly, it's just a matter of doing it again and again and again and again. Eventually your muscles will learn how to do it. Eventually you'll you'll be able to to analyze what's working or not and sort of grow from there. All those things in your head you'll be able to draw. Everyone can draw. Um, so that that you know those comments when I when I hear them about not being able to draw a straight line. I work in a scratch board style, and let me tell you, I can't draw in a straight line, but I know how to make it look like I can draw in a straight line. And that's really what we do as an artist, right? We're illusionists. So I just wanted to talk on that briefly, just because, you know, we don't often show our failures. Nobody does, um, myself included. I, you know, I, I don't usually, I'm not, I wasn't going to show this to anybody, this hamster, when I did it, and I did it just like last month or the month before. Um, and I looked at that and I was like, ooh, that's, that's something. All right, so um, I, I hope that's helpful. Uh, I know that's a super, super short video, um, but I thought it'd be interesting to show some of the images that I think didn't turn out as well for me. Um, there's probably more. I just kind of went through and, and found a couple of the hamsters on my mind because that was one that just happened. Um, and so I, I scrolled through a ton of my work and, and found the rhino that I'd totally forgotten about. Um, and then I, I realized that last year when I did the other zebra, I had, I had put a comparison of the two side by side to see how far I'd come. And so looking at that and, and sort of talking about that. Um, so anyway, I hope it's helpful for you. If you know, if you, if you're drawing and you, you, and something's not working out right, don't get discouraged. Keep drawing, because I promise you, um, if you keep drawing and, and you just keep working at it, you'll, you'll get there. It'll get better. Don't compare yourself to other people. Um, like I said, you know, I can't draw the way you can draw. Only you can draw the way that you draw. So, in the floating nether next to me, there are other videos of art tutorials I have done, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.